Hello, Internet people. If you're perfectionist when it comes to websites load speed, like me, then you will love this video. Because for about two weeks, I've been running my website with Cloudflare's Pro Plan and Argo Smart Delivery Routing. And the results are amazing. I was able to reduce my website's load speed by more than 50% in pretty much all parts of the world. And the best part is that you need only a few clicks to get started. Sylvester will show you how much faster your website will be than your competitions. Tip sweat punch. All right. So I'll first show you some Google Analytics data about page speed from my website. Then I'll show you how you can enable Cloudflare Pro and Argo. Now, as you can see, my website is already highly optimized. I've speed optimized my website with caching plugin and I'm using Cloudflare's free account. So I already have pretty high scores in GT metrics. As you can see, I have 97 as a page speed score and 91 as a wide slow score. So it's really optimized already. About a couple of weeks ago, I signed up for Cloudflare Pro account. And also I signed up for the Argo Smart Routing. And the pro account goes for $20 a month and the smart routing with my traffic, which is about 5,000 visitors every month. It's about $6 per month. So it's not that much. What are the results? I was so curious to find out how good can Cloudflare be once you start paying for it. Drum roll, please. This is the result. I'm in 99 page speed score and Y slow score is 95. So basically everything here is in green and then I have one in yellow uh, with the cookies, but I'm not too worried about that one. You also might have noticed that actually the fully loaded time went up, but this really depends also on GT metrics. So uh, it's not always the best way to look at this data. So you need to actually run it many times uh, just to get an average time. Let me show you the real user data. So here, this is for last three months, I think, my uh, page load time. And just guess at what point I enabled Cloudflare Pro and Cloudflare Argo. Yes, you guessed it right. It was here. So basically, when I enabled it, it just dropped. It dropped a lot. And, you know, average page load time is not as important as uh, the document interactive time. And the difference is that actually this page load time is when everything is loaded on the page when it's uh, document interactive it just means once the user can already start using your website so this is usually what gt metrics and others report so you can see same thing happened here it went from about three and a half to to about two two and something two and a half that's incredible arnie what do you think it's a satisfying to me as having sex with you're a weird guy arnie very weird and let's take a look what's the difference actually here you can see average page load time it dropped by 51 percent almost 52 percent i'm comparing here the last two weeks one is in the beginning of january so the orange one and then this blue one which is the more recent one it's from end of january and beginning of february you can see there's huge difference same go thing goes with the average dome interactive time 31% difference just by pressing a couple of buttons in Cloudflare. Obviously I have to pay for it. And actually now I'm paying more for Cloudflare than for my web hosting, but that's besides the point. And then if we take a look at the continents, which is also interesting to look at. So I have a lot of traffic from Asia, Europe, and uh, Americas. And you can see here, Asia dropped a lot. This is again, Dome interactive time. So Asia dropped by one and a half uh, seconds, Europe 0.8 seconds. So that one is already quite optimized. And then US and uh, less of Latin America, even there it's a half a second faster. And then if you will look at Africa and Oceania, there's big differences there. They're further away. So CDN can actually work its magic there. So your site is as fast as this guy. Pchum pchum. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. So let's now take a look how you can enable the Cloudflare Pro and Cloudflare Argo 
And if you don't have Cloudflare yet, I have a video how to install it. Just check out the link in the description. It's free to install and it's easy to set up. By the way, if you need to choose between Cloudflare Pro and Argo, I would go with the Pro. For me, it brought about 70% of the speed improvements and then the rest 30% was done by Argo. I want to sign up for Cloudflare Pro. So it's the paid account, it's the 20 bucks a month. And actually it's harder than I thought. I'm already logged in. If I click on get started in the plans, actually just takes me to this page and it's kind of weird, but how you can get there is actually you go to the site and then for example, in speed and then optimization. And here you have upgrade to pro. That's what I want. So let's do that. Yes, I want the pro continue. And then you fill in your details, billing details. I'm going to actually use PayPal. All right. So once you've signed up with PayPal, just fill in your details here, the rest of them, then just click on the blue purchase button at the bottom. Kaching. So once you've paid, you actually get more options to do stuff in Cloudflare. And then when you refresh the page and you've paid for everything, then you can actually start using new features. Like for example, for speed, it's uh, promising to actually reduce the image load time. So I'm gonna enable this lossless, not sure if FP, let's see how that one works. What else I got? Enable the Mirage and also the rocket loader. And that's all for the speed tab. And then the network tab, I wanna try HTTP3. Then enable this connection resumption. And that's it for this tab. Arnie, are you still with me? You're funny guys, I like you. Well, that was a little passive aggressive. And then in the traffic section, I actually want to enable this Argo which is an optimized way to cache and deliver your, your website to, to your users. I'm not gonna go into details how it works, so I'm gonna enable it. It actually costs you per gigabyte, so be careful. And if you wanna do this, just check how much it costs. But I'm gonna enable it just to see how it works. So it costs $5 for the first gigabyte and then 10 cents for every gigabyte after it. So my website has about 5,000 visitors every month. So I'm actually serving about eight gig gigabytes of data. So that means about $6 I'm going to pay per month. So Cloudflare Pro definitely works. The question is, is it worth it in terms of for money? Because if your website is not producing any money, then maybe this is too expensive. But obviously, if you're making money on your website, then this is the, something that will improve the user's experience and just in general, make your website faster, which also helps with SEO. My name is Robert, and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh.